if you're in the other room, come be a part of this interview. As Nick and Cody are here from Nidon Clean Energy to talk about the rules on renewable energy that's affecting everybody across the state, and more importantly, one of their high-tech home battery systems. Now, sir, you and I were talking in the commercial break, and I was talking with Grandma, Grandpa. They they went to the BIA Home Show, and they had all these things that they were saying and everything they were saying about renewable energy was really wrong. I was like, where did you hear that? Oh, we talked to uncle down the street or we heard from auntie. And you guys were at the show and d d with all these new rules, do you see there's, sir, there's a lot of confusion out there with people on what's going on, what's happening, what's the real story? Well, the confusion is to go from grid supply, which is just by the PV system, to self-supply, which is the new law of the land from okay. the PUC that uh, HECO's fully supporting. Uh, the issue now is the old way of doing things which was with uh, just a PV, mm -hmm. now you have to get it with batteries. The grid is actually dangerously overloaded. Wow. Um, it's kind of a not well known yet how dangerously overloaded parts of the grid are, but that's a legitimate concern. Wow, and that's why we have to go to these battery systems. Now again, my, my grandma then were thinking, oh my gosh, you know, we, we gotta put this huge battery outside and it's gonna be really, really complicated. And talk about the battery systems because from what I understand, the technology within the systems are pretty amazing and groundbreaking and, and pretty cool to say the least. Yeah, there's some major advancements in, in how to do batteries. The, the thing about it is, it is more complicated in that the person who's installing it needs to know how to design it, needs to know how to balance it with what your loads are, your refrigerator, oh. your, you know, your TV, your computers, oh. your lights, all of those things. So it requires a lot more interaction with how the family or the, the house, uh, house's loads are used. Mm -hmm. And that makes it a lot more complicated. Well, that's why we call you guys, because then you can come out and, and talk to all of us about that. And, and talk about the battery system, though, because, for example, if the power of the grid does go out, boom, your battery comes on, your power still has, your house still has energy. Well, traditionally, that's called battery backup. Oh. The problem with battery backup, which is, while it's fine, it, the batteries never pay for themselves. Interesting. That's why it's been so expensive. Not very many companies, PV companies around the world, know how to design and put in battery systems that pay for themselves in a reasonable amount of time, which is like, the, the originally PV paid for itself seven to 10 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Batteries can pay for themselves now in five to seven years. Wow. And if the, one of the energy storage bills comes through the legislature, uh, then that'll actually be even better. But right now, we don't know that that's going to happen. You see, and that's why I love you guys, because you're constantly following what's happening at the ledge when they're changing laws. Even the legislative session today, it's going to be a big day. But you said earlier, the old energy metering agreement. Can you talk a little bit about that and was that a better deal for us or was that, I got a little confused when I was talking about it earlier. What's the story with that, sir? Well, net energy metering was great when it first started out. It was meant to bootstrap the renewable PV energy industry, which it did a great job um, because you were getting full retail, uh -huh. which no other state in the union that did the NEM did that. Really? Right. Only Hawaii had that effectively. Um, under the new rules, you can't do that anymore, but under self-supply, if it's properly designed, it actually creates more value because under the old NEM agreement, you still had the surcharges and all those extra taxes yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah. Well, if you're doing Batteries. the battery uh -huh. system and you're largely running off the battery ex and the sun exclusively, virtually off-grid, you're actually saving a little bit more. That's awesome. Now, I, I was talking to my grandma, and she has, um, sorry, grandma, uh, she, she really had no, she's like, oh, I got solar, I got this. She's, and no, she has a PV system. Now, talk about if you already have a PV system, can you do this battery? Can you put that on your house? Yeah, it's, um, we can totally incorporate the batteries with existing PV systems. Um, the only catch is that if you want to take advantage of tax credits, you have to add on additional PV. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but like Nick was mentioning before, there are bills in state legislator na legislation now that would help incentivize tax incentives for batteries so or if energy grandma, storage. So if grandma's out there, though, she's thinking, oh, I got a PV system. I don't need battery. Uh, that's, no. I mean, it really helps, and it's uh, not only for her home, but the cost down the road to get a battery system, right? Right. It, it, it definitely does. And the, the catch that we always talk to our customers about is that, like, we're trying to make sure that it's cost effective for them and, and the value it brings to them is, is worthwhile in the mm -hmm. long run. Mm -hmm. Now, I really love what you guys have, this, this online monitoring system that puts you right there even in more control with your self-supply system. And we kind of got it up on the iPad and they can see it at home. Uh, talk about what we got. And this is cool. I was actually looking at, wh what are we seeing right here? What do we got going right here, Cody? So this is um, the online monitoring system with our Outback inverter. Um, the customers at home, as well as us, we can take a look at how the system's performing. Um, they can go back 
days in the past to see how well their system was performing and it's it's just a very uh, easy way for the customer to understand what exactly is going on yeah and how much value and, and money they're saving and right. I, I gotta say you know nowadays everyone's connected with their iPhone their iPad and to have me come home and see something like oh this is what my solar did today mm -hmm. I mean that's a cool feature are people imp appreciating this feature oh yeah wow. and it, it allows them to just be in touch with their system just yeah. to, to understand what exactly is going on I, I gotta ask and forgive me this is kind of a thing our our state is the most isolated population in landmass. We're so reliant on fossil fuel, but we have a commitment to reduce our carbon footprint. Do you think we can do it? I mean, it, is it possible for us to do it? It's possible to do it, and every, all the c local companies that are in renewable energy are investing a lot of time and money mm -hmm. to understand this, which is going to drive the industry forward, and hopefully Hawaii will end up be leading that. Um, we actually, when people come to us, we really push hard to know that they've done the energy efficiency first ah. so we don't have to put lots of PV and battery in. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and people are surprised that we're, we're not pushing to sell. But really, to get to that 100%, you need to look at the whole picture yeah, yeah. and address it that way. But you know, it can happen. I'm glad you said that, you know, because people out there, if you have a question, give them a call because they, 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 they're looking for the whole island and we're all in this together. You want to do the Energy Star appliances, get that all done, and then work on your house and do the great thing. And again, no pressure to give them a call. Sir, thank you so much for coming in. Guys, I, I really dig this. I mean, this is the way that we all have to be in Hawaii. We're all on this island together and we want to have clean energy, and this is the way to do it. Oh, very cool. I love that app.